Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and Merry Christmas. I know it was a few days ago now, but I hope that you had the best Christmas ever. Today I'm going to be showing you what I got for Christmas this year and I'm going to start with the obvious, which is a hair curler. As you can see, I have curled my hair today. It's the first time I've ever used a curler. So if I've done a really bad job, please excuse that. I'm going to practice. I'm going to get better. This is my first ever try. So I think it looks okay for the first attempt. So anyway, this is the curler that I got. I asked Jonathan to get me a curler for Christmas because I've been really wanting to try curling my hair. And I actually went to the shops and picked this one out myself. So this is the exact one that I wanted. It's the Remington Salon Pro Curls Collective. There are a couple reasons I wanted this one. Firstly, because it came with more than one wand. I wanted to not be stuck to one like size of curls. I wanted to try a couple of different barrel sizes. And also, I really, really needed to have a glove because I've heard some horror stories about people burning themselves with curlers. So this one comes with a glove, which is perfect. So as I said, I did already use this this morning. So this is the barrel that I use. I wasn't really sure which barrel to go for first. Obviously, I want to try all of them. So I just went for this one, which is kind of like the medium one. There's a, there's a bigger one and there's a smaller one. So what I didn't realize until I actually took this out of the box and like read the instructions is that this is a little stand. So you can like stand it on that so that when it's hot, the barrel doesn't touch anything, which is really cool. Cause when I chose this, I was like, how, like, what am I supposed to do with it when it's hot? Where am I supposed to put it? So I'm really happy about that. And then it has three different settings. So on the first one, I think that's for like fine and thin hair, which is me. So I just used that one and it heated up so quickly. Like I turned it on and I was like, should I go away? Like how long is it going to take? And it was ready within like a minute. I think I didn't time it, but it felt like about a minute. And then it has two more settings, which obviously make it hotter. So the, the box said that it goes from 160 degrees Celsius to 220 degrees Celsius, I think, which is pretty hot. Anyway, these are the other two barrels. So like I said, there's a larger one and a smaller one. And these two both have like a clamp on them. The one that I used today doesn't. So tomorrow I'll try one of these ones and I'll clamp them and we'll see how that goes too. I think I'm probably going to end up using this one the most, like the loose beachy waves that everyone talks about, yeah. So that is probably the Christmas present that I was like the most excited for, that was the only one that I really asked for, oh there, there was one other one that I asked for, but this was the one that I was like super excited about. Anyway, Jonathan also got me a Bend On Lingerie gift card, which is awesome because I love Bend On Lingerie, I shop there all the time, and there's quite a lot of money on this, so very generous. And he also got me the Eminem Curtain Call CD. This is the Hits, which is awesome because I don't have any of Eminem's music. And I think the Hits will have a lot of the songs that I know from like back in the day that were on the radio. I actually picked this one as well. We were in the CD store and there was a three for two on some CDs. And Jonathan was like, okay, well, here's one that I want. You pick one that you want and then we'll find a third one. So, yeah. That's what I picked. I'm gonna try and get the bigger gifts out of the way first and then we can talk about all the little things that I got. So, this was for me and Jonathan. So these are, there's two um, oven trays. So this is the smaller one. And then this is the bigger one. This would be for like family size dinners, like lasagnas, cottage pie, that kind of thing. But what is really cool about these is that they come with stands so that you can put them straight onto the dinner table and not have to worry about the heat ruining your table. So if I put this in here, it's got little feet that it stands on so that the actual dish won't touch the table. And then it's the same with the bigger one as well. So those are really, really cool and we'll use them more when we move out rather than now. We have so much stuff ready to use when we move out. Like the garage is pretty much full of our stuff that's just waiting for us to move out. But these are really, really cool. And I thought, like I said, the bigger one is gonna be good for family size, but then the smaller one I thought would be good for when it's just Jonathan and I cooking for ourselves. So I'm very, very happy with those. Um, these were given to us by Jonathan's grandparents. My parents gave us some beach towels, which is cool, but there is a story behind these. So they had wrapped up a box that said on it electric frying pan it had a picture of an electric frying pan and Jonathan and I got really excited because we've been talking all year about buying an electric fry pan and so we were like this is awesome now we don't have to buy one and then Jonathan lifted it up and he was like this is really light this is like too light to be a fry pan 
So when we got home we opened it up and there were towels inside, no fry pan. So we were quite disappointed that there was no fry pan. But the towels are actually pretty cool. So this is my favourite one because it's got like cool colours on it, it's like a happy beach towel. And this is the other one which has, by the looks of it, New Zealand on it. Obviously it's upside down at the moment. It's gonna go that way up and it's in like a Maori design. We are happy with these and we will use them. We were just kind of expecting an electric fry pan. From Jonathan's auntie we got this lunch bag which I think is really really cool. So basically on the inside it's like kind of like a chili pack. So it said that it would keep cold things cold and hot things hot. It does open up quite big as well. So this would be perfect for like going for a picnic, going to the beach for a day. Or oh, actually, when we drive to Taupo, it takes us about four hours to drive to Taupo. And this would be perfect for transporting things we want to keep cold. Like sandwiches for the journey or like milk if we want to take milk with us. It's such a bright colour. I love the colour of it. It's got a zip on the back. Not quite sure what that's handy for but I'm sure it'll be handy for something and then the top obviously zips up and it's got a nice little handle it's not something that we would have like wanted or asked for but now that we have it it's so handy we got a couple of books so also from Jonathan's grandma we got a cookbook she got us a cookbook last year and I absolutely love it so I was very excited when we received another cookbook this one is the easy cooking from scratch save money and do it yourself this is the Simon and Alison Holst Jonathan's grandma loves Alison Holst so every time she gets us a cookbook it's always an Alison Holst one so this has some really good basic easy meals in it like cottage pie for example, potato fritters. There's a lot of recipes in here that you know you don't need a recipe for like a homemade homemade burger. I mean you just put whatever you want in a homemade burger but there are also some recipes in here that look absolutely delicious and easy and I'm very happy with this. And the other book which was just for me not for Jonathan is from Jonathan's mum and it is this one here. This is to help me out with my teaching diploma next year. So this is the writing book, a practical guide for teachers. So this goes through all of the stages of like learning to write for a primary school child. There's some very, very useful material in it. I've only had a quick look through so far, but then at the back there's like planning sheets and oh, it just looks amazing. I can't wait to start reading this. I'm going to try and read through this before I get my course books for next year. Hopefully it gives me a bit of a head start. Okay, we are moving on to the smaller things. By the way, I'm leaving out all of the food. I got a whole, whole heap of food and I've eaten most of it already so I can't show it to you anyway and I can't remember what it all was. So we're just doing the stuff that's not food today. So in here I have a whole bunch of little goodies. They're not all from the same person. I just kind of chucked all of the little things in one place. So I got another one of these candles. If you saw, I don't think it was last year's what I got for Christmas. I think it was the years before. I got one of these candles. It was the orange one and it smelled so good. So this is the black raspberry vanilla candle. And it smells, it just smells like raspberry and it's amazing. So this will probably be in the background of my videos for a little while while I burn it down. I got this cup which has a cute little kitten on it. Very, very cool. And it's quite a large mug as well so you can fit a lot of stuff in here. A lot of stuff? A large drink. I don't know. An Avon Naturals Body Care in Vanilla and Soy Milk. We get these from Jonathan's grandma every year. Like we all get them. I get it. Jonathan's mum gets it. His sister gets it. And I really like the smell of this, but I'm pretty much like the only person that actually uses these things. So I usually get everyone else's as well. And we always get these as well. So I've got the Avon Little Black Dress Hand and Body Lotion. Again, I'm probably going to end up with three of these. And I also got the Avon Black Suede Hair and Body Wash, which probably end up with three of those too. Okay, so this is the only other thing that I asked for. This is from Jonathan's sister. And it is a veggie slicer. I don't know exactly what it's called actually. I should have kept the packaging, shouldn't I? But basically, we saw this on MasterChef and we were like, oh my god, that would be so cool. So I asked for this for Christmas. So this is the blade and then on the back here you can adjust how big you want the slices to be. So if it's on, if you can see the numbers on the front, if it's on number one then you get really, really thin slices. 
and then if you push it down to number two they're like medium and then three you get slightly thicker slices so basically it's pushing this plastic bit further away from the blade each time and then when it's closed the plastic sits on top of the blade so you can't cut yourself and then what you're supposed to do is like use these pointy bits on this thing to like spare the vegetable and then you can just like make slices really really fast and it's really cool we tried it with cucumber yesterday and it worked really well we also tried it with tomato which didn't work but that's okay. Even if it only works with a couple of vegetables, it's still a cool thing to have. I got a candle from Ikoya. This is the fresh pine candle and Jonathan hates the smell of this. But I think it smells really, really nice and fresh. So I'll probably have to try and use that when he's not home. I almost forgot about the presents that I received earlier. So the things that I've shown you so far are all of the things that we received like on Christmas Day, Christmas Eve at our family Christmas parties. But I have got a little pile of things that I got earlier in December from like my staff party. Because I had to quit my job at the end of the year because I'm going back to uni next year. They gave me some leaving presents as well as like Christmas presents. So for my leaving presents... From work I got a couple of notebooks which is awesome so they gave me a massive one with MTV on it and then a like regular size one I guess that says I'd rather be crazy than boring and these are really cool so they gave me these basically so that I have somewhere to write down my notes for uni next year so lined paper inside there and then every little while they've got one of these pages with a pocket in it which is really cool because you can like put little notes and stuff in there and same with this one this has the pockets as well and then also for my leaving present they gave me a mug keep in mind next year I'm going to do my teaching diploma so I can be a teacher so this mug says brilliant teacher on it and I think that's so sweet so hopefully I can live up to this mug and then for my Christmas present we did like a secret Santa thing at work so we didn't know who we were going to get you just got like a generic present that could be for anyone and then you picked one out of the box so I ended up getting a couple more notebooks which have a pretty cool design on them actually and these ones are just plain like lined paper and then I have a couple more candles here as well this one is from the aromatherapy company. This is the Therapy Range Natural Wax Candle in Sweet, Lime and Mandarin. I love the shape of this candle with how it's like tapered towards the top. This one smells really, really nice. It's quite a subtle scent, but it's so good. And then this one is from Typo. This is a mango guava candle. Look at this packaging. Isn't it just so amazing? And then this one smells so good. Oh my goodness. This is probably my favorite smelling candle out of all of them. And I mean, that packaging just makes it my favorite candle. So those are all of the presents that I received for Christmas. I'm really, really happy with everything that I got. Jonathan wants to show you one of the presents that I got him. So he quite likes that one, which I'm very pleased about. Oh, I don't. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave me a comment down below letting me know some of the things that you got for Christmas. Don't forget to thumbs up if you did enjoy the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye!